Well, it was graduation day for nearly 150 probies, as they're known, emergency <laughs> medical technicians. The FDNY holding a ceremony today marking the completion of more than four months of training, as many of the graduates explained what inspired them to pursue the life-saving profession. Antoine Lewis has their stories. New York's bravest got a little braver Tuesday as a graduation ceremony was held in Brooklyn for 148 probationary EMTs who are now a part of the FDNY. It is a culmination of incredibly hard work and challenging days that you had to put in. The probie spent 18 weeks learning life-saving skills in every life-threatening scenario possible. Each decided to become public servants for personal reasons. EMT Andrew Shepard. For Andrew Shepard, it was to honor his grandfather, FDNY Battalion Chief Dennis Cross. Chief Cross was killed on September 11th. Cross himself joined the FDNY in 1963 because his father was a New York firefighter. Shepard also has an uncle in the department. Helping people has always been something that, that uh, has made me happy and everything. Uh, and then following in my grandfather's footsteps and my uncle's footsteps uh, and joining the, the fire department uh, has just been a life goal of mine. EMT Victoria Ortiz. For Victoria Ortiz, it was in memory of her grandmother, Mafalda Iacovino, who passed away from COVID at age 81. Ortiz is also a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. I was raised by an old school grandmother, um, and, and she raised me with discipline, and I, I hope that shows to the rest of my patients. The FDNY responds to more than 1.6 million emergencies each year, and the new EMTs, like Tat Lynn, who's also a veteran of the armed services, are ready to do their part. We just want to serve, and uh, since I feel like I haven't served enough in the military, so this is, uh, uh, give us another chance to serve the public as well. Very good. That was Antoine Lewis. Well